And we're back. Buddy, calm down. Sorry, my dog might start barking because people are outside and he hates people. Because people suck. Anyways, yeah, so the loading's done. <sighs> Time to swerve through all these zombies. Drink my juice. Oh, yeah. Mm. Vitamin C keeps the scurvy away. That doesn't even rhyme. What? Why the fuck do I even talk? Oh well. Uh, let's see, we've been recording for about... 45 minutes, I guess. That call was a lot longer than I wanted it to be. Um, so yeah, just head on over to this Uranus zone here. Uh, it'll be the alien with the big mouth. Um, I don't even know what to say to that because it's basically a joke in itself. And uh, it also has an entrance to the... Atl oh my god! See, that's the zombie I'm talking about. The one that's on its stomach and it's like, ah, ah, ah. Um, but yeah. Um, so there's also a entrance to Atlantic Casino, the Atlantica. And you can go through there, through here. Uh, I think there's also a, a Zombrex hidden around here. And uh, you can also go... See, where's the bank? Uh, I'll show you on the map here. It is the that one there. So uh, I end up taking. It. Uh, so yeah, there's also uh, I end up taking the long route in every single playthrough I've done. So I don't know why I'm doing it now, but oh well. I'll just show, uh, I guess I'll just do this to show you uh, like what Uranus Zone is all about. It's actually a pretty big area. Uh, I was a little surprised at how big it was. Um, that's what she said. Um, but yeah, uh, so <sighs> this is the new Uranus zone. There's a Zombrex hidden somewhere around here that I can't get to until I do the fine Zombrex thing. And then there's also the um, uh, the bank vault. You find one of the keys that has it and then... Uh, oh, actually, I could be a little bit more specific than that. If you go in the hotel and you're with Rebecca Chang or whatever, if you're doing the case mission, she'll tell you to follow her. As soon as you go through the door that takes you to the South Plaza, there's gonna be a key on the floor. You pick up that key, that's the one that gets you Zombrex in the bank vault here. Um, so yeah. And, oh, and there is money in the vault too, so that actually ends up helping you out. It's not really that much, but better than nothing. Uh, I want the sledgehammer. Oh, okay, I had one, okay. So... There's another 10 grand. That's not bad. Good starting off money. Because I know you're going to need it later. Uh, where's the... Oh, yes. It's over here. Um, so, yeah. So, you just go to that little thing. Click the button because apparently you have sec security clearance. That's one of them. Sweet. And there's 50 grand. Okay, so I was right about that one. Nope. Yep, that one. And uh -huh. there's another 50 grand. So, you start off... You get you get 100,000 to start off with. That's like 700 bucks. And I think there's like a $10,000 briefcase over here. Yeah, there is. So you just pick that up, throw it on the ground, there you go, more money. Uh, oh, make sure you keep your eyes out for any money cases, because they can carry either a lot of money or no money. It's, well, not really no money, but like a hundred bucks, let's say. So, I mean, it's uh, luck of the draw, I guess, but you can always go back into the bank there and get the, the briefcase every time. As soon as you, well, you have to leave the Uranus zone. But if you're ever strapped for cash, you can break the vent, uh, the, uh, not the vent, the, uh, ATM. Oh, oh, damn, I don't no. have the key. Oh, well. So, yeah, you can break the ATMs, get the $10,000 cash, and there's another, like, $20,000 $20, there. So, that'll help you out, I suppose. Depends what you're trying to get. Um, so, I'm gonna go, actually, I'm gonna see if I can get this Zombrex should be up in this building up here. Um, I'll show you where it is, but I, I really don't think I can get it because it wasn't there the last time I tried it. So uh, let's just see if that was a glitch or not because sometimes there are some glitches in this game that kind of piss me off. Um, there are some times where you're like, uh, I, I don't even know, you're just standing around and then Whoa. out of nowhere a zombie will just like attack you. Um, wait a minute, what am I even talking about? Right, oh, some glitches. So, some of the glitches are you won't receive calls at uh, certain times even though you've done all the missions. Like, uh, they'll they'll be really late and then it'll already be in red and then you're just like, oh, come on. So, um, yeah, there's that. And uh, there's some issues with um, 
hit registration with the uh, weapons, which actually kind of pissed me off. And um, I think that's about it for glitches. Other stuff just seems to be around. Uh, so let's see, this is where the Zombrex is supposed to be. Is it there? Nope, not there. Uh, so I'm just going to go do the fine Zombrex, so I'll come back here after and get the Zombrex so I can keep it around because I need it for survivors and stuff. That, uh, I, I don't know how I was able to do that. But anyway, um, something else that bothers me is there's a limit on the survivors you can take now, which is supposed to add some challenge to getting cramped quarters, which I actually took post a walkthrough for. So if you guys are curious about how to get that and you own this uh, game, just check it out. Uh, let me know what you think. I did uh, I did a, a little longer of a walkthrough than most people do because I wanted to give a little bit more details to it. But there is a limit now. And the limit pisses me off because you're only allowed to have eight at one time. So if your total su uh, survivor count is seven and the next call is going to be for two people, you can't do it. You won't receive the call. So you're going to either have to save all those seven, or kill one of them, and then you'll get a call for two people. It, it's really annoying. Um, considering I used to walk around in Dead Rising 2 with like 10 survivors just killing everything. Uh, yeah, so it, it did get pretty annoying. Um, but I guess I can understand why they would do that if they're going to add some sort of uh, difficulty to it. It just, I guess it makes sense. I don't know. I just think it was unnecessary to do that. Um, so yeah, just uh, hope you guys are liking this commentary, this uh, walkthrough, I guess. I, it's, it just seems too professional to call a Let's Play, so I, I don't think I'll call it a Let's Play. Oh, man. Huh. So I figured out something that I'm going to do is uh, when I'm editing this, I'm going to edit out the parts where I'm not talking. Like, not edit out the video parts, but the parts where I've, I've recorded and I'm not talking, because then you won't get the staticky background, and you'll just hear the gameplay, and then when I tune in, you'll just basically hear me. So I think that'll be a good way of doing things. Uh, I could be wrong, but we'll see how it turns out. And I guess this is basically the same kind of cutscene you'll get with Chuck, with Chuck Green, so uh, I'll just shut up, though, in case you guys didn't play Dead Rising 2 or watch any Dead Rising 2 videos, so uh, if you guys are noobs, sorry. I guess I kind of ruined it for you. Here you go. Fantastic. Hey! I know you're looking out on us. Where's the money? Where's the safe? Come on! Don't lie to me! We don't have a safe! Don't lie to me! Hey, don't you have something better to do? Why don't you mind your own business, old man? Just looking for some meds. No need to get ugly. Well, you're definitely huh. gonna need some painkillers when I'm done with you. Well, talking to you is giving me a headache. Oh, yeah? What say you give me some money, and I'll go get some for you? Yeah, give us some money, Grandpa. We'll help you out. How about it, Grandpa? You got any money? It ain't polite to stare! <laughs> Yeah, so uh, one thing that I noticed with this game is the, the, the thugs here, whatever the fuck you want to call them, looter, um, was, uh, are actually a little bit more difficult now because they have this thing where they can actually spray paint you and steal your weapon and your money. So if they steal your weapon and use it against you and it's like a combo weapon, you'll die pretty fucking quickly. Yeah. So you got to watch out for that. It's uh, pretty nutty. And um, they made the survivors here stupider. Like, I noticed that in Dead Rising 2, I was able to escort everything no problem whatsoever. But in this game, it's like they're toddlers that are just at, a, at like an amusement park. They're just everywhere, and they're not even following command. So, like, it just fucks me over so much because I'll be just running towards the safe room like I, like I always do, and then out of nowhere...